What are the symptoms that Social Security Administration is going to be looking for in your medical records if you have Huntington's disease? Huntington's disease causes movement, cognitive, and psychiatric disorders that will vary from person to person and symptom to symptom and level of severity. The progression of the disease and these movement, cognitive, and psychiatric symptoms must fully be developed in your medical records. The Social Security Administration is going to be looking for the following symptoms of the movement disorder. These will include involuntary jerking movements and impaired gait and balance that can make it difficult, if not impossible, to walk, sit, and stand. Muscle rigidity that can make it difficult to use your hands. Slow or abnormal eye movements that can make it difficult to read or even use a computer. Difficulty speaking, which can make it difficult for you to interact with your bosses, other employees, and the public. In terms of cognitive disorders, the Social Security Administration is going to be looking for symptoms that impact your ability to perform your occupational duties and interact with others in the workplace. Now that can include problems organizing, prioritizing, or focusing on work tasks, an inability to stay on task and finish a task, difficulty learning new information, slowness in processing thoughts and finding that right word. In terms of psychiatric symptoms, we know that Huntington's can organically cause a lack of impulse control. That can result in outbursts in the workplace or a lack of awareness of one's behavior. And unfortunately, depression and anxiety are also common psychiatric disorders associated with Huntington's. That can result in social withdrawal, a lack of interest in work, fatigue and a loss of energy, feelings of irritability, and even thoughts of suicide. The Social Security Administration is going to review your medical records and also look for a diagnosis of Huntington's disease, a detailed description of your symptoms, objective evidence of the physical, sensory, and mental changes that I just outlined, a detailed treatment history, including treatment involving medication and your response to that medication, side effects of medication, and evidence that you complied with your doctor's treatment recommendations. If you've been diagnosed with Huntington's disease and can no longer work, you owe it to yourself to call my office for a complimentary consultation. I can explain to you the five-step sequential evaluation that's used in every Social Security case and how I'll work with you and your physician to establish your entitlement to Social Security disability benefits as a result of Huntington's. Call me today at 727-894-3188 for a complimentary consultation.